Hello everybody and welcome back to the J72 Gaming Channel. My name is Jacob, but you guys can just call me Jay here. Now today, I wanted to try and help you all get an understanding of what the ILE Vrima requires to enjoyably play as far as computer specs go. Now, <laughs> let me start by saying that I'm no tech wizard, but I have been playing this game for five years now, and I've been recording it for YouTube for the past two years. So I've got a bit of personal experience that I can share with you guys, and I hope it kind of helps you get an understanding of what is really required to fully enjoy this game. The Isle is notorious for requiring a pretty high-end computer to run, and unfortunately, where we stand today, I completely agree with that statement. Now, in the past, with Isle Legacy and the early days of Evrima, I was actually able to run it on a, a really basic computer setup. I had something like a 1060 graphics card, barely any RAM, like 8 or 16, and I was using a micro motherboard on top of everything else. <laughs> um, but honestly, the game ran okay. I was able to record some of my first episodes on this channel with that setup, and um, it didn't have the highest frames, but it was playable and recordable. Now, flash forward to today, and what you are all seeing here right now is my new setup that I just got installed last month, and which the specs I'll go over in specific shortly. Uh, but this is exciting for me personally because I actually had to take a break from the game for a while due to my last computer setup not running update 5.5 very well, like at all. <laughs> so longtime viewers of the channel, I'm happy to report that the IO videos will be returning. Uh, but first let's talk about kind of why I had some issues running the game and how each update of the aisle has affected the performance of my computer. So, as I mentioned, in the early days of Evrima, I had a super basic computer setup. Only 16 gigabytes of RAM on a super basic hard drive with a 1080 graphics card or so. And the game, it ran okay. But as soon as Update 3 came out, I started to have some massive issues. That update brought a whole new upgrade to the graphics and map, and my old rig was just really starting to show its age. So at that time, I had upgraded my graphics card to a 2060 AMD, as well as a new processor, and I got a solid state drive to help everything kind of work together. Uh, and this worked well. I was able to run Evrima on medium to high graphics and even record all the videos um, in just medium um, for the game with that update without much issue. But then, update 4 came, and I don't know what they did to the game, but my old setup just was not good enough. Um, perhaps the atmospheric weather that they added to the map, but yeah, I'm not sure. I struggled to make it look as nice as it used to. Here is some footage I actually took comparing my performance with the game before and after the update. Um, it, was, it was still playable, but when I recorded, I needed to turn the graphics way down, um, something I did not need to do during update 3, even though I had the same setup. So this brings us up to update 5 last summer, and it was during this update that I could no longer easily play the game with that old setup. I had to run the game at medium settings just to play it, and could only record the game at low, otherwise I would run into a ton of screen hitches and slow pop-in graphics, it just it didn't make for a good visual experience for a video in my opinion on, here on YouTube, and even playing the game personally was way worse than it used to be, it was a huge bummer, honestly. So, luckily, that brings us now to today. We are currently in update 6, and I have made a massive upgrade to my computer to bring you all the footage you see here today. I'm now filming on a NVIDIA 3060 Ti. I've got two 32GB RAMs installed, I've got a Ryzen processor, and a WD Black M.2 drive to help speed everything up. And now I can finally run this game on high graphics, and I can even record it to you guys on high for the videos on this channel. Now, guys, like I said, I'm no tech wizard. Uh, <laughs> trust me, my friends will tell you that. <laughs> um, and, and perhaps some of you listening and watching this here um, can see the changes to my computer and completely understand why I was having issues before. But long story short, here is my recommendation if you are looking to upgrade your computer to play this game. Now, if you want to run this game on high frames, smooth controls with a complete lack of hitches, you're going to need something along the same lines as I have mentioned here with my new setup. Perhaps a little bit less RAM and a little bit less processing power and you could still be okay, but this game is extremely taxing to run on the high end, so I definitely recommend a higher graphics card. Now, if you're just looking to be able to actually run the game, say maybe on low or medium settings just to play, then make sure you have at least something in the higher 20 series graphics card range, as well as a decent processor too. Like I told you guys, my old setup could still play the game today, just not great, uh, but it did get the job done. 
And once again, guys, I just really want to iterate. I'm, I'm not the best person to tell you guys which computer part is better than another specific computer part. I'm, I'm not that guy. <laughs> but I'm really just here to kind of tell you guys my experience from someone who has played this game for a few years under different update situations and scenarios, all while having different uh, computer upgrades along the way. Now, I hope this helps you guys kind of get an understanding of the computer specs that are required to enjoy this game. And if you're interested in seeing some more videos about this game, I welcome you all to check out the huge backlog of videos and aisle content we've got on this channel. As well as stay tuned for more to come, obviously. But until next time, guys, I have been Jay. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Peace out.